Hi everyone and a warm welcome back to our second online session. I am super proud of all of you guys who did the painting class last week. I saw some of the paintings and they look incredible. I know that was quite a tough session last week so a big well done. You should be very proud and this week we are going to be painting a cockatoo. There are many of these birds about, they typically are white with yellow bits on their head or they're pink um, and then sometimes you'll be seeing this, this quite like a dark blue, bluish um, version of it and they're really pretty so yeah. Um, this week I have been doing this painting and I have also been trying to get a big mural done but unfortunately I need to have a DA and confirmation from the council because a lot of Sydney is actually heritage buildings um, and a lot of permission and stuff is needed to create big murals so yeah, working on that! <laughs> I hope you've all had a brilliant week and excited to start this class, so let's get in! So the colour palette we are going to be using today is a selection of blues, dark blue, turquoise, light blue, and then for the background, yellow, orange and pink, and also black and white. So we're going to start off with uh, the smallest paintbrush you have, and we're going to go in with the darkest blue and we're going to draw a circle. This is going to be the bird's pupil and when you're painting a pupil you have to leave um, little bits of white in it because that's for reflection. So I'm going to leave two white circles in here and that's just quite a nice reflection. The next bit is we're going to draw another circle around the pupil like this and we'll take a pause here. Okay, so the second step is we're going to do the nostril. It's pretty much the same thing. So we make a small circle and colour that in and then another circle around the circle. And we'll take another pause here. The next step is creating the beak. So we go from underneath the nostril and we create this one shape. And then we go in again and create the top of the beak. So we'll pause here and you guys can do it. Next we're going to be drawing the head. So to do this we're going to line up a bunch of dots together. So the dots typically should be about a centimetre and a half apart from each other. Um, and we just go around in this sort of oval shape that links from the top of the beak and just goes all the way around. And then we're going to do the body as well. This is just really quick. Just think where the wing's going to be and where the tummy's going to be. Just lots of dots, okay? And you guys can pause here. Next, we're going to be joining all the lines Together and we are using our dark blue paint for this. So with the head we start off with a nice straight line and then as I said earlier with the dots being like a centimeter apart we're gonna connect them together with making these like little um, semicircles and these are gonna be the feathers and yeah just notice how the top of the head and the bottom where the feathers are, they're straight, okay? So we'll pause here and you guys can do it. Next, we're just going to really roughly be adding in a couple of lines. So with these, this is where the feathers are going to be. So you go from um, where the dots were and you just sort of drag it in towards where the eye is. This is just, it's fine, it doesn't have to be perfect, like we're going to be going over it anyway. It's just like a rough guide of how your brush, brush strokes are going to be. Then you can do the same on the wing and also the tummy. It's just really quick and simple. Um, it does not have to be perfect. Okay, so we'll pause here. 
Next, we're going to be working on the background. So you can do the background whatever colour you like, if you want it to all be just pink or um, I'm going to show you guys how to do a gradient. So it sort of goes light from the middle then dark on the edges. So I've started off here with white around the bird and then yellow and then orange and then pink on the edges. And you just blend it all out, put some water on your brush and blend. Um, it's okay if you get a little bit of blue in it and stuff, that's fine, that happens. Um, your feathers can just sort of like go over there, it doesn't really matter, or you can paint over it. Um, if it's not blending too well, just add more paint. So I'll give you some guys some time to do your backgrounds. Next, we're going to be colouring in the bird. So we go in with our turquoise and we sort of put it in the middle around the face and a bit on the wings and the tummy. Um, this doesn't have to be perfect because we could be doing this whole layer twice. So we've gone on for turquoise and we can go in with some white. Add a couple of white streaks in there, especially around the eye. And we're pressing quite firmly and sort of blending the paint together. And we're putting it on the wings, the tummy. And then we're going to go in with our medium blue and putting that just above the turquoise. So I'll give you guys a little bit of time to do this step and we can take a pause here. Next, we're going in with our dark blue that we used to do the outline of a bird and we're gonna put that right on the edges around the face and also on the wings and the tummy and just do a little bit of an outline. So with the lines that you drew earlier, you just sort of want to be adding lots of, um, just going over it with a dark paint. So I'll give you guys a little bit of time to do that. This step, we're going to be blending everything together. So with that dark blue at the top, we're just going to be colouring in and making sure there's no white spots left. And we'll be dragging that dark blue down and going kind of over the lines we drew earlier. Um, we just want to sort of blend everything together and if your paint's dried a little bit you might need to go in with um, some more paint and just go over the top. Um, and yeah, just add, keep on adding more different colours of blue and blending everything together so it all looks nice and smooth. So we'll like give a little bit more time and have like a pause here to get like this bit done. Now everything's nicely blended out, we're going to go back in again with our darkest blue and we're going to be cleaning up those edges. So we're just going over it and um, making the contrast much darker and stuff. So when it comes to painting, you really have to have really nice bright areas and really dark areas and this is why layers are so important. Um, so yeah, we're going to be going over it all again and putting definition back into the painting. So around the head and just outlining all those lines we did earlier. So around the wing, we're going to create a little shadow under the head, um, around the body. And those marks we did on the tummy, we're just going to be creating those again. So we just go over the top with a nice dark colour and yeah. Give you guys a little bit of time to do this next we're going to be adding the white dots so you turn your paintbrush around and use the back of your paintbrush you dip it in the white and go around adding lots of random white dots on the wing and then on the tummy you're just going underneath those dark um, dots that you did just now so you go underneath there and then on the head, we are going to be making like little lines of dots as well, like this. So we'll pause here and you guys can go for it. Just here with that same white, you can just go over the eye, the reflection, if you want it to be a little, little bit brighter. And now we're going to be moving on to the beak. So we go in with some white and we just whack it on the beak. It's okay if a bit of blue gets in there. 
and you want to sort of think about shadows so the top of the beak is going to be a nice white and the bottom bit of the beak is going to be a little bit darker and you can blend this all in with the outlines that you did earlier on that beak and yeah create this nice little gradient so we'll pause here and you guys can do the beak next we're going to be doing the yellow dots so clean the back of your paintbrush from that white and we're going to go in with the yellow and we're going to do the same thing so we're going to add the random yellow dots on the wing and then go on the head we're just going to put yellow dots in between our white dotted lines um, and wherever you feel just whack some yellow dots and then the same thing with the tummy we're just going to be adding the yellow dots just under the white dots so yeah i'll give you guys a little bit of time for that next we're going to be outlining the beak with the black and we'll also go over the eye and the nostril with the black and we're just cleaning up really um on that beak you can also add a a couple of like fine little lines for definition and then the lines we drew at the beginning of a session just sort of um add in a couple more lines on the head and this will bring out the definition um and then we can also start adding in the next layer of feathers which to do this we just go in with the black and we create nice little semicircles again and then you can go around the eye and add even more feathers if you want to you don't have to do this um, you will need your smallest paintbrush for this or if you're not confident with that you can actually just leave your painting to dry and um, when it's dried you can go in with like a pen or a sharpie and do this in pen um, and you can also add some more black dots onto the face and onto the body and yeah we'll pause there okay well done everyone we have now finished the class and you can remove your masking tape now and um, sign your work as i said last week um, if you're going to sign your work it's probably best using pen um, because it's a much nicer need to finish but yeah also like me i my tape hasn't worked here um, or if your painting has bled a little bit, then you can just go in with some white and really clean paintbrush and just go over it to fix up any little marks. Okay guys, well done for completing this week's session. Um, if you could all take a group photo, that would be really nice. I'd love to see it. And a big thank you to Ricarda for sorting out these sessions and running them and a lot of uh, preparation as she goes into these classes so thank you so much for doing this without Ricardo these classes would not be able to run so yeah and thank you guys for attending um, if you have any suggestions of things you'd like uh, painting tutorials on let Ricardo know and we can try and sort something out um, and yeah I'll see all of you guys next Thursday ciao